Well, gentlemen, control here with a, another Swain video. First one from the new set called The Mountain. And guess what? This one's kind of a banger. There's nothing too crazy to it, but we're playing Swain with Frundle. And now this is kind of a combination I didn't really think would do that well initially. But I kind of figured that the cards sort of worked together and that it wasn't really that big of an issue to play these two cards together because, you know, you have Leviathan for the Trundle Synergy to get him leveled up. And, uh, you know, you have to behold with that as well. So I figured that this would kind of work pretty well. There's also another card that I did want to try with this deck that I found as a three of wasn't that great in this list was just the Augur of the old ones. I thought it'd be really cool with Swain. Had a couple satisfying games where we just had Swain at the end with like the Overwhelm Regeneration Fearsome and then the Nexus Strike ability, which is really sweet. Now, the only issue is that Augur, I mean, it needs an E-Cost card in hand to activate, so we run a Battle Fury for that, which is more of a four fun card. It's not that insane, but when it does work, it's really satisfying again. So that's cool, but the card isn't that crazy. You also have Bjergs here to tutor those. The thing with Bjerg is sometimes you just want the Leviathan off of it and you draw the Augur and you're not that happy, so that's not the best. But overall, the whole Trundle kind of Freljord package is quite good. I would say Troll Chant and the card draw cards being Sentry and Bjerg are definitely very, very solid. And the uh, the Trundle himself is a very, very good card. I think the Ice Pillar is very nice in this deck to pull your opponent's bigger units away so your Swain has higher odds of connecting. And I think it's just a nice uh, kind of thing to have in play because, I mean, it does refresh the Mana Crystals. Obviously, you have to wait till turn 8. But Trundle Flipped is quite good. You get Overwhelm and the Regeneration, which are nice keywords. And Trundle is kind of sweet to just jam on 5 so you don't have to play your Swain then. You can wait a little bit longer. Trundle is very good at blocking. He's good at just chilling out and taking some damage. But um, yeah, the top end's pretty similar. I mean, the Noxus cards, there's really not too much to talk about. You play all the really good ones. Flock, Spider, Sentry, Culling, Descent, Fervor, Swain, Leviathan. Just the core, basically, all the good ones that are going to help you kind of just get, uh, you know, to that turn 8, turn 9, Swain plus Leviathan kind of combo. And that's sort of the end game with this deck and where you want to be in a lot of cases is just Swain plus Leviathan. Very similar to any other Swain deck for the most part. But the interesting part is how you get there, and this deck is one of the few ways I found that you could run a lot of the Targon cards and actually have success with Swain. I know people are playing like Swain Leona, but I'm not going to lie, I think that's just terrible, if, if you ask me. I mean, Leona just gives you a bunch of stats and units, which helps you get through the early game. I think that makes sense, there's nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't really help you a lot. It doesn't help Swain progress, uh, you know, kind of him as a champion performing better. Whereas the Freljord package does. Troll Chant's very good. One, for keeping him alive. And two, for just removing the ability for your opponents to block. In a similar fashion to the Ice Pillar, where you'd be pulling things away. With the Troll Chant, what you're doing is just denying the, the fact that your opponent can even block at, you know, the Swain in general. If they only have one unit with three or four attack. Play the Troll Chant. And boom. Now they don't. Also, just really good in combat. And it was a card that I was actually surprised by. I think it's one that is quite a bit better in Swain decks than I initially expected. So I'm definitely happy to run the Troll Chant. We'll always use this in Freljord when I'm playing with Swain. I think the card draw, again, was very, very good in this list. I like Bjerg a lot just to get the Leviathan. I actually found that to be super good. And Sentries felt really nice as well. I'm used to playing Swain decks with a draw, so being able to switch it up and actually play a version with a ton of draw was quite nice. I found that, uh, you know, having a hefty hand is very good with Swain. I have a lot of options as far as removal goes, and you can develop a lot of stuff before you have to commit to Swain later on. Uh, Augur, again, so we talked about this a little bit, but this card is pretty sweet. You don't just have to play it on Swain. You can also play it on Leviathan as well for the regen, which is really nice. I found that it was a dead card for me a lot of times, so I definitely cut this down from E3 up to maybe a 1 or 2 of even. And you could, you know, fill the slots in with cards that you find a little bit more useful uh, instead. I think that would be perfectly acceptable. Same with Battle Fury, that doesn't really have to be a thing. I think with, uh, you know, Trendle giving you the Ice Pillar and then the Ice Quake as well from his Champion spell, if you have 1 in play, it's pretty likely you're going to have Behold online, so... I think that, uh, you know, you don't have to go all in with the Battle Furies and stuff, but that's another fun card that I think did quite well. And another thing I was even considering was maybe cutting a Trundle or two and playing like a Sejuani or two and then having like a Tusk Reader in the deck to make just big thickies. It's one thing you could do too. It's another eight cost unit. It was a consideration, but I felt like I played three Trundles, three three, uh, and three Swains because it's the very start of the set. That's about it for the deck. I think it's a pretty solid one. Uh, as far as mulligans go, look for like your early game units. Sentry House Spider is pretty good. Uh, the other Sentry, Arachnoid Sentry plus Flock is a good combo if you know your opponent's going to be playing relatively important units early on. It's basically just always a keep. I mean, Flock's just good. Calling Strike in certain matchups can be really good when you're removing key units with three or less attack. So I'd say look out for that. Uh, Death Hand and Fervor are decent. I wouldn't really keep Fervor. Death Hand can be a keep, again, with the two health thing. Like, if you're playing against TF decks, I guess it's quite good. And other than that, I mean, Swain plus uh, the Leviathan slash Trendle can all be keeps depending on the matchups as well. Against Fast X, you really don't want to keep those, but into slower ones, can be quite good. Same with Bjerg, as he does tutor the Leviathan half the time. That's about it for the deck. I think it's very comparable to a lot of other Swain lists we played previously in the way that the games kind of end up panning out 
is basically the same. You want to just survive, you know, maybe push a little bit damage early to mid game and then drop a Swain later on and Swain will just terrorize your opponent with Leviathan. And with the new tools we have here being the uh, the good old Ice Pillar and uh, Troll Champ makes it a lot easier for you to connect with Swain. So definitely give it a spin. I think this deck is really fun and a great way to utilize Swain in Call of the Mountains. Enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with some fresh gameplay. Until then. GG's. Oh. There you go. It's because you guys are being nice. Thresh Aesol. So definitely a little bit slower. I don't know how much of removal they run as far as like the Thresh package goes. That would be like the only thing that I would uh, be interested in knowing and I, I mean the thing is there's like not really net decks right now right it's just people playing their own versions i think that i saw mogwai playing thresh Aesol though so maybe i look at his real quick hey relax dude okay relax um, i have to go back too far i don't really care i think i still keep swain i don't think it's that good in this deck because we have the sentries and we have the bjergs Okay. They never stop. Really, dude? This is my hand. I mean, I'm almost, I'm not guaranteed yet, but I'm almost guaranteed an auger on six now if we want it. I, I save the sentry. I'm not going to tempo it. It's not worth it. Okay. So I can curve Augur on to Swain here, which will then just get Leviathan, but it's okay. Um, I'm not going to count the dabs until you guys start requesting them, and I will do them afterwards. I will pass here, I think. Actually, the attack and trade is probably better before he plays the Thresh. So I'm going to attack and let him trade here. It feels stronger, at least. Smart. I thought he was actually going to take the attack there. Um, passing, I think, is actually the right play for him there. For sure. I think for me, even like playing Swain was actually good because I wanted to just auger it anyways. Sure. I mean, I don't actually really mind, so... Turn seven next round. I could just dust sand here and then set up like the fervor, I guess. I float one man otherwise. Waka, Flaka, Flame. 22 dabs. Okay. 22 dabs. That's a lot of dabs. I don't really want to take the damage here. I think I stunned the 4-3. I don't really care about my sentry living. I could also just play house spider. He just got eaten up by those though. Bang bang. Oh block. My shooters shoot. Uh oh. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and hit him with the double flock so I don't get swing leveled up now. Spell shield. It's a good trade for us. I mean, it's a three mana card for a um, oh, one mana card. Save my spell mana that I'm not using anyways, but save it regardless. I should probably play House Spider here just so I have more blockers online. Let's see, we'll have a board of attacking units and I don't really want my Leviathan to just die. Am I not a Teemo Sedge Gamer? Well, there's just more enticing things to do day one of the expansion, I think. And, well, Simo Sedge is definitely something that I like to play and it is fun. There's just other stuff to look at, that's all. Teemo is something that I will be looking at in a little bit, though. Definitely a champion I'm interested in jamming some games with. Another Thresh that I can't deal with. Okay. Um, This is only challenge. 
This one's not really online. I don't really want to play Leviathan and block with him, but I could do that. He could also just straight up play an Aesil next round, so I kind of have to play like Swain plus Leviathan, I think. If we want to go for Swain, I could play blocker units here, but the blockers kind of just mean that the thresh level is faster, which we don't like. It's just like the Leviathan as a unit to block with is just so bad that I, I really don't want to play it, but I think I saw well. It's the last Swain. Your female Lulu deck is 9 and 2. Nice. I've been trying it with like, uh, right? Well, I haven't been trying it, but my idea was that I would do it like in a way where you use Wayfinders and you really don't have too many PNZ cards. Whether or not that's ideal is uh, completely up in the air, though, and I'm not too sure if that's exactly where you want to be with it, but that's what I was looking at for it, at least. They updated that animation. It zooms in slightly. I like that. It's a good change. It's smart, so this card doesn't die to the uh, the Swain ability now. The flock, because it's a 3-5. Super good move from him. So I play Swain, he plays Renation. I lose. Then he plays a soul poggers. His total power is 22, so he'll level. We could play a Bastion here as well. Kind of a good look for him, actually. I flip Swain, 10 10 will be stunned. I can only do one kind of Nexus damage, so my Swain will be blocked here, unfortunately. If I do decide to attack with him. Actually, not necessarily. So if I go Descend here, I can Descend this Thresh. First. Wait, I don't get the stun damage from the flip. Oh, just, oh sorry. This is what stuns Aesol. My bad, my bad. That's the start of the round. Sorry. I was already like uh, calculating that when I was thinking about what I wanted to do this round. So the Aesol stuns with the one damage afterwards. And then the next part is you just stun the 4-3 Natty. Well, I flock the 3-3. Three, three. And then I stun 4-3 Natty. This guy's brain is massive. It's too big for me to handle, gentlemen. What do we do? So my Swain doesn't connect. Um, I mean, there's not too much to do here. I guess I would just pass in, play the sentry and just chill. Yeah. So he can get up the obliterate card from the Aesol. That's why this is kind of bad now. Um, the attack was kind of important to have go off. I can stun Thresh and attack for a lot of damage with Leviathan and my other things. That is probably the plan. Yep, denying the ASL level is definitely part of the equation here, for sure. No doubt about that. Give them a chance. This is my very last swing in the entire game. I think I'm in a bad spot here. I don't think this card level up uh, is very relevant. River is big. River is so nice for just stunning like whatever big celestial card he has. Assuming it's not a spell that's gonna kill my two big units. That's um a 10-10 with challenge because all the other cards overwhelm. Let's uh let's do this and then win the game. Yeah. So we beat his 10-10 with um uh, with challenge. With uh you know a big stun. Yeah, my son printer goes burr. Yeah. Okay. Let's put all the keywords on the Swain. Doesn't matter that he flips here. Because he's stunned and all the good spells are slow. I love Swain. Oh, man. Oh. He would be so much worse if the spell shield would block his effects. Just a classic 12-11 Swain with Overwhelm, Fearsome, the Nexus Strike damage, and Regeneration. What can I say? 
22 dabs. Oh, fuck. 24. Let's fuck it, boys. Do some extra dabs for you guys. And bang my microphone. Let's go. Lee Centauric. What's he playing Lee Centauric? That's good. Has to be a lot of support cards and a lot of removal cards. Gems. This feels like it's a deck that should do well against my list. I don't have ways to play around spells, really, for the most part. I think even... A flock should be good. Maybe one house fighter. I don't know about Birg. If the list is slow, then a Birg is good to pick up a Leviathan. I feel like I have enough draw, though. It's maybe just this. Troll Chan Fervor. Not the best. A little love for those who need it. Thank you for the luck, my friends. Calling is really good into the Tark. I think Lux Leona has potential. Um, more than Leona and any deck like Leona Swain, yeah. I would say yes. Doesn't mean it's going to be great down. Augur, okay. I mean, I can just Calling right away if we want. I don't know if it's super worth it, though. Just two mana. They have a lot of defensive spells against it. Let's see. Healing, attacking. Yeah, that's a lot of way to make it so it doesn't work. Okay. You know, there's a lot of ways to make it so calling is bad. Um, I still think that I saved the calling. I feel like I just fervor my 1-1 one, one to clear the mentor. Kind of feels like a waste of a turn, but we're really not going to do anything next turn anyways. The thing with Zenith Blade is it doesn't actually counter anything because it's slow. But Zenith Blade does allow Leeson to have Overwhelm, which is good for sure. Then you have the gems and everything, so that makes sense. I can see why it would be good. They don't actually have a lot of removal though. I was expecting a lot more than what it looks like they have. Four mana, so if I just go Culling, he can play like a uh, card that allows him to gain attack. And there's a lot of those, like the gems. Or actually, you, you can't cast that in response to a spell. So his options would be like Twin Disciplines, or Bastion, or Pale Cascade. Pale Cascade seems pretty likely. If I go Sentry plus Flock, I don't lose to Pale Cascade. I still lose to Bastion. Actually, I don't even lose to Bastion because I Death Sand first. I think it's Sentry Flock and Sway next round. I don't think playing him right now is actually that good. Calling just feels like it's just too bad. What spell would make the calling not work with two mana? Um, Pale Cascade. So this first, obviously, you just see if he has an answer to it or not. He plays the Bastion. We just go Descent to trigger the Bastion, and then Flock still works to remove. I have not seen the video where the streamer whips so hard he dislocated his shoulder. I've been close to that. My dabs are really intense so if i go dust hand here then it'll be damaged and then cleared cool. so that's massive because he also wasted hush and i didn't actually waste any of my scaling for swain so he's just leveled now i think the play is to play him still for something to answer him and then maybe use the troll spell to make it so i can attack Message was for the mentor. Oh, okay. MB MB. I'm getting an early swing attack. Wow. You usually don't get these until the end of the game. That feels good. Almond, Almond Whitaker's Bar. Third place, Mars Bar. And fourth place, a Kit Kat. The rest, we can figure it out later. Yo, Elva, what's up? What's up, Elva? And Kets, bro. Here's a whip for you, man. Oh my god. 
but I just just look at him, mom. Oh my god. He did the wind up and everything. I kind of feel bad for him. Only I don't like I, I don't really feel bad for him. I just kind of feel bad for him. Jesus. And his name is Chad. Okay. Uh, he can flip Lee Sin and get the Dragon Rage to go off here. If I culling, there's a couple options you can have to make it so that doesn't work. Definitely still just jam it. Hope it works. Because otherwise we're just boned, right? With the gems, the the Dragon's Rage is going to be really strong here. Ooh. Uh-huh. 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 You've activated my trap card. Ha! Ha-ha! Trap card activated. Leeson, be gone! Swain, activate! Uh. We the best music. I mean, I could just give the... This is actually a really interesting turn. So, for 8 mana, what can he do to really punish me here? Swing with overwhelm means his ability goes off. I, I'm just wondering whether or not I actually play the Leviathan here, is the question. So, there's, there's Concussive Pump to stop the attack anyways. So that's like one of the big ones that would just mean that... Greeting is kind of bad. Like, I could go like Augur and then just like Troll Chant and that would work. But Concussive Pump is pretty likely. Um, I don't think he's played Deep Meditations yet. He could this around them. This is really weird. I feel like it's super awkward that I'm not playing Leviathan here, but I kind of don't want to. I think if I was going to make that play, I should have done this. I fucked up. It literally ran out of time as it was dragging it to play it. That's my bad. He shouldn't have ways to clear this still though, so we should be okay. There's some meditation, okay. So I feel a lot better about my decision now. Five mana left, so as far as spells go, uh, I'm just gonna guess that he net deck this, so we can just like look at the spells and that'll be exactly what we have to deal with. Um, Hush is like really the frustrating one, but it's not gonna work at the start of the next round, and that's when we have to worry about it, so we should be fine for now. At the same time, he'll probably be playing Lisa in next round, so it's not like this is even really that great, because I don't have a way to stun the Lee Sin right now. I love this new animation, man. For next round, if the Leviathan is still up, I need to move the deck tracker so we can see it. Thank you. Dude, we needed this so bad here. Just something to activate the um, the good old uh, swing ability on the Lee Sin if he jams that. So I'm not going to lie. Otherwise, Lee Sin could fuck her damp. And he surrenders quick 5-0, boys. Undefeated. Wow. So to go over that last turn, I it was actually really tough because usually on turn 8, if you have Swain up and it seems likely he's going to stick, like no Will of Ionia, no Thermos and stuff, Leviathan is just a slam. But in that, in that, ex, in that exact case with the Troll Chant and Augur in hand, I actually think it was better for me to play Augur plus Troll Chant and um, kind of just go in and say Concussive Bomb is going to happen. And it, if it doesn't, I basically just win the game. Otherwise, the, the Leviathan plays fine. But if I make the Leviathan play, I shouldn't attack. doesn't make any sense. Or I should attack after Leviathan's played and attack with Leviathan so I push more damage to just win quicker. But uh, what I did was about as, you know, as poor as you could. You could also troll chant instantly and open attack and again, hope that he doesn't have buffs or anything like that. But, um, you know, he runs double discipline, so it's likely and Concussive Bomb can stop the attack. So that's in Cascade as well. So it's just, it's not that great. Spider even a keep? Is that even really necessary here? I don't actually know. I definitely want Trundle. I know that for sure. Definitely a good card. Other than that, like, am I just looking for Leviathan, really? Block is good for leveling, but not really... Like, it's just not an aggro matchup, so it seems like a lot of these cards are just kind of bad. Probably keep it 2-drop, because it's a 2-drop. I think you actually get a, a very low amount of value from a lot of situational cards early on in expansions. So stuff like Calling Strike isn't actually as good as you think it is right now, just because... The meta hasn't really settled and you don't actually know how many people are going to be running units with three or less attack that are going to be high value targets. Also with Targon, there's a lot of Behold stuff, so that makes them a little bit worse as well right away. Let's go Sentry for more damage early. 
So HJ, how you doing? They did give Simpworks map a better card. Yes, it's a big body. Ooh. Okay. So we're doing some dragons. I dig it. Dragons probably work. I guess you get ramps, so that does make sense. I don't know if that's really how I go about the dragons myself then. But okay. I can stun. It's not like the most impactful sentry, and that card could get a little bit better early. I have to kind of like fervor one of my cards after blocking it. To go like sentry into this, then fervor the 1-1 one -one into the protector to clear it here. It's kind of a good idea. I save three spell mana so I can dust hand. Something for the swain leader. Sure. So pass here. No attack, kind of smart. I like it. Go trundle. He usually plays 5-5 five, five here. Stones, okay. I will attack. Attack button, go burr. Let that go through. Save this spell, man. I don't need to use it right now. Could legitimately just be enough reach for a lethal eventually as well. So I'm kind of just chilling at the moment, I think. So does he have like some combat trick here that's going to make this good? It's like a pretty clear bait, right? I don't like it. Could just let him attack maybe? Doesn't really feel like it though. I don't think I like playing Augur for the Overwhelm. I think I just like playing Swain here. Who also isn't that insane himself, but I think he is still decent. Nothing, okay. Ice Quake Pog. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I could just stun the White Flame Protector here, and then I'll have to damage the stuff in. But also Augur. I mean, that's okay, but it's not insane. The Swain doesn't even, like, actually connect, so it's not really that great of a play. I think I just start with the stun here. Try to probably utilize the Troll Chant. That'll be the move, I think, here. Well, I can't really block that too well, can I? No, the answer is no, I cannot. I really cannot. Uh, I could just block these though, so it's not like the end of the world here. So Trendle will be stunned, Swain will be stunned. I don't really want my Swain to die. Same time though, it doesn't really matter. I can block three, so two of my units will connect. It'll usually be these two for three. He's at five HP. I play Troll Chan here and I should have Lethal Stone. So I do some stuff like this. Uh, not too much really matters otherwise. Just attack, troll chant after combat, something that's going to connect, and that'll be about it. Um, troll chant doesn't give me attack, my bad. It gives me health. Sorry. Stop this foolery. It takes greedy trade? Okay. Interesting. They sold two, uh, six times. Six, Riot stole 6,000 essence from you when you tried to get two A-Souls. These servers were not the best during launch for sure. There were a lot of issues. Double Brittle Sialica. This guy's in a good spot now. So, how do I make it so I don't lose here? Based on the situation. Can I make it so I don't lose here? I can... Let me swing live if I troll chant. Which isn't the biggest deal in the entire world, but it does kind of matter. I don't have enough spell mana to fully clear the infinite mind splitter. But I can do quite a bit to it. So I think I am gonna actually do this instead of going face. And then I probably will just uh, play the death hand on that next round. And it feels stronger to me than just committing for a line where I have to just go face and win to like draw one burn card. I guess, actually, I, I technically just have this, right? So maybe even trying to play to keep Swain alive is just dumb. Because if I just have Leviathan, Leviathan's kind of just a win. Yeah. I also could have played Death Hand because I would be drawing the Swain, or the Flock from the Swain anyways. Okay, so we play some combat tricks here to protect, uh, to protect his cards. There's another reason he would attack. An Elixir of Iron. No. 
This guy's insane. What's up, Neymar? How you done? See, sure. Crazy. Can play the. I guess I can play the pillar. I lose my. I, I don't lose my behold because I have Trundle's Ice Quake. So. It should be Leviathan every time. Actually, this is six plus. Yeah, no, it's not lethal. So I play the pillar. Get the flip. Are you winning, son? I am always winning. Yes. I'm going to get to play games with my homies. I'm always catching dubs, boys. Every single time. Uh, I mean, I could do 3 2 2 and clear in here. And then open attack and win instead of Leviathan. Or I can play Leviathan and then basically just win next rounds. I actually don't know what I think is better. Just clear open attack. This is Overwhelm. Swain does stuff. I think just clearing it should be better. I'm fairly certain that's a stronger play. Then I open attack and I can just play the Leviathan afterwards. So even if I don't have lethal, it'll be close enough to where I usually will win. Because he's going to have to commit mana to make it so his card just lives. Not bad. My favorite champion of this expansion. Good question. Um, probably Aurelian Soul. Aurelian Soul is really cool. Definitely a big fan. Okay, so that's this whole turn. I don't really care. Say sure. And I play the good card. Leviathan is so nice, man. It really is. Okay. He's drawn some cards. I respect the hustle. So he draws cards. I deal three damage to him. He has three health. Also, if I set my first face, I would have won uh, Blaster, by the way. But that's kind of like uh, hindsight just always being great. Good win. Pretty solid dub. Swain is still Swain. Trundle honestly worked pretty well with him. Not going to lie. Leona Asol. Okay. They plan on using Nocturne in a deck today. Not today as of right now. I may change my mind, but as of right now, I do not have that lined up as something I'm doing. Ryard. What's uh, what failure deck are you playing with this? Interesting though. I don't think I keep these. I don't even really know if I want to keep Swain, honestly. Sort of just want to look for like a calling strike to beat the Leona. That's fine. Insane. One mana. Three three. Crazy. Wait, bruv, we still con it for the cons are in it, bruv. Yes, yeah, 100%. I think that I would prefer to... I'd probably prefer actually this enter here over another bow spider. I'm getting the draw, it's nice here. Pass back. I don't need to attack yet. There's no reason to. Could also say there's not really a reason not to attack, but it would then allow him to play his two drop after, so I'm kind of fine just waiting. Sure. That should be really strong for him. There's a six mana option that obliterates all cards less than three. A seven mana, actually, I think. Seven or eights. So we don't have to worry about it, really. Play the second card, draw card. I'd almost recommend doing this, where you just pull up the celestial cards on, like, another screen if you have double monitors. Or, like, even on your phone when you're playing. So you don't do, uh... Well, dumb mistakes. Don't really want to make those. I would imagine he really doesn't want to block there. That's interesting. So I figured I'd do the check just with the open attack in case. Ah, okay. If he has catalyst, that makes sense then. The Bjorg. Yikes. We really wanted to hit Leviathan with that. Unlucky. So we're kind of like the champion of the early game right now. I have every single early game card in the entire world here. I mean, I want to block stuff, so I don't really need to play like a fervor or anything. 
Nothing escapes my I play all of my draw in the entire universe. Is there a deck mode? Uh, I can't come out. I can do that for. Maybe it's next game. That should be fine. Okay, well, I guess I have triple auger hand. Interesting. I don't behold a card that costs more than eight, so it's maybe not ideal here. He also should be blocking here in basically every case. I, I don't think there's any way he's going to let me just push this much damage unless he has some massive form of healing in hand. Okay, well, I guess he wants me to draw cards. Thank you. Kind. Very, very kind of him. Block, okay. Can walk a flock of flame that. Seems like his, he's going to be playing Leona when she's flipped. She's three to four, so when she's played, she will level up, unfortunately. Cool. I also do have the Augur online now, but I'm not going to buff a Babbling Bjerg, I don't think. It doesn't really seem that good. I could probably just play a House Spider, I think. Some bad chump blocker that does something. Uh, that's kind of awkward. So is it eight mana next round then? Is it nine next round, right? Nine is a lot. I think I want to fur my 1 1 to clear the faces off here. I don't like him having the ability to ramp and play an ace before I get to start playing the game. Okay, so I'm going to do this now. Hit him with the flock. It's kind of a big issue for us, just like not hitting one of the fives this game. Is that I didn't really have any way to like, really develop any pressure. Because I chose to run all the draw really for um, a lot of my unit slots. And they're really just not that great at doing anything. It's a smart hush so he keeps his ramp. I can't block that. Uh, I probably set the pass now. He also knows that I have a flock based on that play as well. It's on this round. Interesting. So it retains everything that happened last rounds. Good to know. Tracker is this. And not track it. Tracker has an ER at the end. How's this text win rate? 100%. I've literally never lost a game with it. Not one of my entire life. I am only a winner here today. Tomorrow things might change. I may be a loser tomorrow, but as far as today goes, we are definitely winners. As well, one game, one win. Can't get much better than that, I don't think. Should play the Swain, I think. So even if I clear the faces of the old ones, what'll end up happening is he's just gonna have a solo most of the time. I can't flock that now. Nice. Uh, I mean, it's almost better that I didn't use it there just because then, I mean, we would kind of get punished pretty hard by that. But now my Swain's kind of bad. I don't attack with the next rounds. Um, I maybe just play House Spider, open attack with everything but the Swain, and then block the zero two. Play a Leviathan after, and he can kind of just do everything he wants here with like the Aurelian Soul stuff. Sort of frustrating, but I mean I can't really do anything, right? It's uh, it's one of those. Page is broken for download. I can't help you then. It's on my website. But that was the one that I was using. So attack with the trash cans. Get some damage in. Hold Swain. Because Swain, I mean, he's not a trash can. We want him to live. He's, uh, he's the homie. Good. It's also kind of nice because we give him an action as well, which I'm a fan of. See what he wants to play. Okay, his board's not leveled up though, so that's fine. He will not get stunned for the first spell because he has spell shield still. And I only trigger once, so I'm actually not going to stun anything with the swing, but it's still like a Leviathan look here every time. I can fervor to stun him, unless he opens, but it, I mean, he's still got a block, so it's not the end of the world here. Okay, good flip. It will stun. I mean, I guess it's not a skill, right? So I guess that makes sense it would, but we'll see. It does. Yeah, it's not a skill, so it's, it's very true. It will stun. I'm glad somebody understands how the game works. Because I sure don't. Yo. 
Lodgy. Thanks for the Prime, man. Appreciate it. Hope you're in a great time. Thank you. It means a lot, man. Appreciate the support. Match or relax, okay? Relax. How you doing? Look at this. Manual update. 15. 10 more, boys, and I'm going to chug some water. Crazy how that goes. So my Leviathan will get stunned, which doesn't really matter too much. Say okay. I can Troll Chant and Culling Strike. That's kind of a fun combo. Do I like playing Augur on the Swain? I mean, as of right now, I don't have to do anything to win, so I should actually be passing because they just like basically went off the, the open, so... It's a really nice situation to be in when you have Leviathan and Swain, because I mean, you just get to sit here and do whatever you want, and your opponent has to like literally do everything they can in their power to beat you. Is this BBG deck? No, nope, just threw it together before I went live in. Maybe something similar. I mean, it's nothing super crazy, right? You play all the Swain cards from Noxus. Uh, I chose to run some draw from Freljord and basically just Trundle and some supporting cards. So it wouldn't be like super confused if, or super surprised if you made a list similar. You made it like 20 minutes ago. Oh, well, I made it like an hour and a half ago. They're stunned, okay. So this is a burst speed spell, so I can actually culling. Well, culling fizzle this effect. Or will it still go off? I actually do not know. Only time will tell, my friends. Only time will tell. Uh, should it still go off? Okay. Looks like it's so well. G Swain, plus Swain plus Leviathan is good. Man, I literally do the whole like 30 minutes where I talk to you guys in the beginning to warm up so my voice doesn't like, you know, mess up. But hey, I still can't talk. English is a very difficult language. <laughs>